Hi guys, it's Annalise here and I've got something super exciting for you. I've finally got around to collaborating with the fabulous Oliver Twix. We are going to be counting down our top 10 photos from America's Next Top Model, British Invasion. Yep, it's happening. So Oliver's picked his top 10, I've picked my top 10, and we're gonna share them with each other and you guys for the first time. But before Oliver joins, it would be great if you subscribe to my channel for ANTM videos, fashion content, and tips about my freelance careers. You can also give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications. But of course, outfit check all right so i am wearing this fabulous dress um it's a dupe of the house of sunny dress have you seen that one the green version yeah well this is the yellow version and guess where i found it in a charity shop yeah found it in a charity shop for a fiver and i'm kind of obsessed with it so um yeah teamed it with a white polo little bit of jewelry looking cute Okay, but back to the task at hand, which is mine and Oliver's top 10 photos from America's Next Top Model, British Invasion. I'm gonna give you a warning. This is a two-parter, yeah. I've realized that me and Oliver were just gonna chat for too long and there was no point me trying to edit it and squish it down into one video. So you've got two parts. I'm gonna do 10 to six in one video and then you're gonna get five to one in the other. But don't worry, I won't keep you waiting. Both videos should be available at the same time. But yeah, let's get into this chat with Oliver. Oliver! I am so excited to have you. Ah! Um, do you think you are ready to round up your top 10? Have you got it together? Did you get your strategy? How was it for you sorting out the top 10? Selecting my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, my Antium Yu-Gi-Oh cards was very difficult. No, I was going to say it was actually difficult, but it actually wasn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, but... I did, it was kind of difficult narrowing it down to only 10 because there were so many that I just thought was so great. Oh, wow. But I do believe I have my 10, my 10, my winning 10. I am really excited to see what you picked and why you picked them in all of that. At the end of the mm -hmm. day, babe, you have been busy. You have been blowing up over here. Can no. I just congratulate music, TV, oh, thank you. conferences, content creating, popping. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for kind of starting this journey because it's been really interesting to watch you. Of course, you've got different elements and different career paths that you're on, but especially this ANTM journey because that's where I where you caught my eye. I was mm -hmm. like, who's this guy talking about ANTM? How long mm -hmm. have you? How long? How long has it been? It's been about six months now. A little over six months. It doesn't feel like it. It's been six months, but it's I think really six months. No, it's got to be longer. Maybe, maybe seven or eight. But when I looked at one of my oldest videos, maybe a couple of days ago, I saw six months. It hasn't really been that long. How many interviews have you turned out in that time? Because oh, girl, I've done. I think the number now is eighty-three. I don't know what kind of schedule you're on because I can't keep that. Somebody who doesn't want to sleep or have time to herself, you know. I'm out, putting in breaks now. Out of all the interviews, who shocked you the most? Or what was the most shocking piece of information out of everything that you've learned? You know what? Out of all the a team interviews I have done by now, I should have an answer to that. And every time you guys ask me, I'm like scrambling because there's been so many different things. I think... Like top three... Talk okay, Al Alicia, Eugenia, and Shandy. Alicia, Eugenia, and Shandy. Those were like the three I was like, damn. Ah! Yeah. And then what about people-wise? Was there like a girl or a contestant that you had one opinion of and then like you did the chat with them and kind of bonded and your opinion changed? Oh my gosh, you know, um, Kristen from Cycle 19, I actually met her when I went out to LA by the time this comes out you can edit this part by the time this comes out the vlog will be out because the people haven't the people don't know I've, I've spent time with Kristen but on the show Kristen was one way but on my chat she was totally different and when I met her just the love and just the energy I got from her was so warm really all the love I've gotten from like you you too you too like I've had you know some run-ins here and there but 98% of it has been nothing but love, nothing but positivity, nothing but like 
open, welcoming arms from you guys. The ANTM fandom are ride or die, you know? Like, mm -hmm. they are, I mean, when I think of me and myself in that scenario, it's like 10 years later, and they mm -hmm. are still rooting out here, supporting, mm -hmm. like, that was a religion. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you realize the only reason I started recapping videos was because I was getting loads of messages and I just saw people were talking about it. And mm -hmm. I didn't realize that really talking about top model is a genre by itself. I thought yes. it was just like, oh, something that I did. Okay. No, mm -hmm. people don't know. Yeah. What about Tyra? So is that happening? You know. Is that happening? Is a live, come on. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you, because I love you. Okay. So, we all heard the woman in my video say, yes, that she's going to do something. Um, I did reach back out. I haven't heard anything as of yet. But it is of my hope that Tyra is a woman of her word. And I don't, I don't see any reason why she would not stick to her word. She still like comes on my page randomly and like comments on the most random things. Um, her Smize Cream page is still posting my content and she, and she still likes it. Um, I'll reach, I'm gonna reach back out to the guy again. But to be quite honest, to be, to be quite honest, and I really never thought she was gonna call me. So just the fact that she yeah. one called me she wants she too acknowledged the work I was doing with her show Acknowledgement is um huge. yes like and there were some things I cut out from the video just because I don't feel like hearing everybody else's mouth about it but like she she trust me she acknowledged what I'm doing and the fact that she agreed to um let me record some of it to put out to the media like that honestly is enough for me that is enough that is enough like that is enough that's enough but hopefully for the fans sake and everybody else who's tuned in hopefully we can get it hopefully hopefully i'm ho yeah send it out there but if we mm -hmm. have internet issues we know who it is <laughs> we bind you tyra yeah we still i still <laughs> bind tyra even after she called me a bitch i bind you <laughs> all right should we just get to it i feel like let's the get first it to it first though right we've got to kind of explain because when I wanted to say, okay, so I said we were going to do this top 10 idea, picking mm -hmm. the best photos from ANTM British Invasion. And then when mm -hmm. I went to do it, I realized that I had to make some stipulations. First of all, there's what, 14 shoots, 12, 14 shoots in mm -hmm. the season. And in my top 10, there's literally five. So that shows you the level of the shoots already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also, more than one girl can appear in the top 10. It's about the best yes. photo across said season. So coming in at number 10 for Oliver Twigs is Miss Candace at the car photo shoot. I love that photo. Really? I love it. Let me tell you something. There's, I, I love how in the photo, I can see the line just zigzagging. I can see, it. I love how tall she looks. I love how collapsed she looks. I love how lackadaisical she looks. I love how even with her being collapsed and lackadaisical, she still looks statuesque. She's looking at something, those beautiful cheekbones, the color. Yes, Miss Candace did. And she oh actually went home on that. She went, she went home on that photo shoot, right? She went home. Oh, I would have kept it. I love that photo. I think that photo was stellar. I'm actually going to agree with you and say that that photo was really underrated because I'm calling that the low rider shoot. And for mm -hmm. me, the low rider shoot had some banging images that are definitely in there. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think of hers. Mm -hmm. My number 10 for Annalise Days over here. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> Is Ebony from the Kardashian photo shoot. Okay. Why? I really enjoyed this photo i thought mm -hmm. it was a very so obviously the kardashian photo suit was a mess in itself because there was so much going on very distracting mm -hmm. however the thing about ebony and that head twist that she did with the ponytails to me that was kind of magical Her eyes yeah ebony is staring into your soul she got burnt on the cheek and she's just stared through that still at it yeah, no, still at it, of course. Now, don't get me wrong, Candice is looking good over there. I'm liking her leg length, but I don't mm -hmm. like the Extension. Arm. It's a little bit of a closed arm situation. Okay, 
I can see that. I like Kendall and Kylie being on separate sides. Uh, yeah, I like the Me image. Me too. I like mm -hmm. the image. I'm just going to roll into my number nine because it's That's another perfect. Kardashian photo shoot. And That's it's perfect. Laura. So come on now. Laura did gymnastics in this shoot. Like she was upside down. How are you going to look cute upside down? No, legit cute. Um, I think, again, it's about the juxtaposition. I really enjoy mm -hmm. the yellow and the colours in this. Yes, the actual concept made no sense at all. Being her babies, no. that's It's very creepy, actually, now that I think about it. But Laura's upside down. The leg is giving you length. She looks sturdy. She's basically helping Catherine out there because Catherine uh -huh. wouldn't doing much if it wasn't for that bend. Sophie kind of let down this photo. <laughs> What about you on your... Well, my number nine is the same photo. My number nine is the same photo. I love, I love, again, the composition of it all. The yellow, the two okay. twins in the black, Miss Catherine, the Queen Catherine with her red hair. Um, I, even, I even like Sophie in this photo. I love Sophie in this photo. But of course, the star, the star is Laura. And like she's straight upside down, like and she's there's no bend. The only bend is in her back. Her, her, yeah. I don't know how is how does she do that? Flexible, clearly she is mm. her fiance happy. Mm. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Great positioning. All right, go on then. Tell me your number eight photo. I wonder how many we're gonna have in common. Me too. I'm curious now. <laughs> okay, so my number eight. Speaking of back bends, is Miss. Ebony at the Canadian Maple Syrup shoot. Oh. I love this photo. Her skin is amazing. The shape of her back. Okay, as she's bringing the energy into her hands. The only reason why this photo was not higher on my list yeah. is only because I'm a little stingy. I'm a little stingy. I just wanted just the slightest more of a squint in her eye. She has a squint in there. There is power. There is focus. But I just want to just a little bit more. I, I think the lack of squint in her eye helped her because it made it look more innocent, which is what they were looking for. Okay. I can see that. Okay. So I, can, I know she was trying the whole time, obviously, not to be sexy. Mm -hmm. They were kind of pushing her into this, like, 30 never situation. Um, she must be 30 by now, right? Is she 30 yet? <laughs> she should be. She should be. She should be. Um, you know what? It's a great photo. I'm not going to spoil anything, but let's just say you'll be hearing from me later about that photo. <laughs> okay, okay. What's your number eight? Later. My number eight is a curveball, literally. Estelle photo shoot. Simone. <gasps> Okay, but for the same reason, we both like the back bend. We both like the back bends for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, the back bend and the curve of the booty. Mm -hmm. I'm slightly annoyed by it because there's like an orange glass, <laughs> a glass of something with orange liquid in it, literally right where her back is. Somebody should have been watching and that, Definitely should have been moved or photoshopped. Should have been moved. Mm -hmm. Or something. But I think the back bend is glorious. I think the eye contact, because she bent backwards while giving you... Mm. Yeah, she did. Do you know what I mean? She, she did. Like this. And the, the dresses were tight. tight. Were they? AF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shoot was a little bit complicated because the... It's almost like the brief of it changed across the shoot. When it started mm -hmm. out, it was supposed to be a civilized dinner party and it was just about you being the centerpiece. But then it kind of evolved into like a crazy party and more dramatic and like almost circusy and bending mm -hmm. and it hurt, it hurt. I'm sure I've still got injuries because the table was hard and you're clambering and bare, bare shit everywhere. They're like, <laughs> you know, the table just had so much stuff on it. So if working out where you're trying to put yourself in a dress that's like constricted, no, nah, I think Simone did that. Yes. Defo. Give me your number seven. So my number seven has to be 
Ebony again. <laughs> Ebony again. And this is at the car photo shoot when she's on the floor in that white. I like this photo. I like the photo. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I What I really like about this photo is just, again, it, it, we've been throwing this word around so much, the juxtaposition. Um, and for those of you who are too lazy to look it up, it's basically when a lot of times when, t- when two things are put up right next to each other, and usually for effect, they normally don't go together, but they're put together. I love how she's in this dress, in this pose, with these cars, the pose is strong. Her face is fierce. And she's still selling the dress. I still like the dress. Like, I like the dress. I like the hat. She's selling the shoes. Did you really she- like that shoot then? Was that one of your favorite shoots? Oh, yes. I love that shoot. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. You will be hearing more from me about this shoot. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It minds of, that's definitely in there. But for mm. me, this, um, no. I don't like the pose. I don't like- I love it. it. Did she, why is she squatting? I'm trying to bring it up so I can actually see it, but it's like mm-hmm. squatty. And then <laughs> yeah. like, I just, and I don't think, I think her face has looked better. And that's not a diss, that is a compliment to what I've seen this girl's face look like. I am, this didn't even come to my mind when I thought of this shoot. Well, this is my number seven and I'm not changing it. What's your number seven? You stick to your convictions. My number seven is Hello Kitty. My number seven is Hello Kitty and Alicia. Is it just because you hate Hello Kitty? No, I really, I don't like, I love, you know, I love all y'all and I love Alicia and I almost was going to put Alicia's photo, that photo in my list. I just didn't like her lack of intensity in the eyes. I would have just, I wanted just a little bit more of power in the eyes when i look at images i look at everything else as icing but the eyes to me are the most important thing her body the 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 pose all that stuff was sickening and when it got to the eyes it just it just didn't do it for me i love you alicia i like i'm i think tyra actually said this as well but that snarly thing that she's doing i actually enjoy this that's why i think i can i the intensity in the eyes isn't a thing to me Mm-hmm. No, because she's giving you nostril. It's the new eyes. It's the new intensity, even though this was 10 years ago. <laughs> right. I really enjoyed this shoot um, in terms of, in fact, I think it was one of my best photos from the season, but. Your ass in your Hello Kitty photo was amazing. I snatched. It got underrated. I'm sorry. I, the dead face was on purpose. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, that was my that was my vibe at that time. I was little Bo Peep. I was looking for. My- <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I was doing in my head. Anyway. Gotcha. Back to Alicia. The symmetry to me is insane. Mm-hmm. I love it is. metrical. I want to cut that down the middle. Mm. The legs. Mm, very Grace Jonesy. You can't ignore that. Mm. Okay, so my number six photo from America's Next Top Model, British Invasion, is again from the Lowrider shoot. And it's Laura. Oh, Miss Laura. You know, that photo almost made my list. It was like number 12. Because if you're going to choose between Ebony's, come on, the no. <laughs> no, I love that photo of Ebony. She's elongated. She is mm-hmm. twisting. Mm-hmm. There's a length in the body. It's very. Like, she looks so chic. Like, but Ebony had length too, though. I'm not. I mean, it's not in terms of. It, I'm not saying that Ebony's photo is awful. From mm-hmm. the little I'm not saying it's awful. I'm just. This is not, not her best. Not magical. That's. I got- yeah, I gotcha. But, but, Laura, but Laura, with this mm-hmm. twist and this, like, she's like a lady. Like, mm-hmm. she, she owns some shiznick. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And then, uh-huh. the, I mean, again, this low rider shoe, I think the, again, juxtaposition, I think it's the word of this, uh, of the video. Word of the day, uh-huh. It's about the prettiness and the hats and the daintiness of everything against the dirty cars and the kind of skyline. Mm-hmm. You know, you know that's where they shot Greece. You know, the final, like... For real! So my number six is actually from Sophie at the dinner photo shoot. I love her in that stance with that 
power just piercing through and I can just feel like she's about to ravage you girls. She's going to ravage the party. She's going to ravage the photographer. I can just see the circuit of energy just circulating. One thing that made the Estelle photo shoot good was the energy in the background. If your energy mm -hmm. in the background, which is why some of those earlier photos and what I mean by earlier is that there were girls who shot earlier before the brief had developed. So in the first group was uh, Alicia, uh, Laura and Kyle. Oh, gotcha. That and makes sense. You look at their photos, everyone's sitting down and it's a very stagnant thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. where the, the, it only started to get good when there was like extravagance and something so. And Sophie's photo for me is actually number two after Simone's. Mm -hmm. My only critique of it was that, and that's not her fault, was that I said the dress should have been a different color. I didn't like that it was so close to the gold. To Estelle. Gotcha, the Estelle, yeah. It was the red or blue or something. I just wanted a mm -hmm. pop. It didn't feel like it popped. But gotcha. no, guys, the makeup, the foot, the balance of the image, mm -hmm. you are- This is amazing. So that is the end of part one. Sorry, I did end that pretty abruptly. But you know what? Part two only gets more exciting. Thank you so much for watching this one though. Mine and Oliver's top 10 photos from America's Next Top Model British Invasion. Now, if you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. You can also follow myself and Oliver on Instagram. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again. See you next time.